If a college student told you they were heading to Jamaica for three weeks right after finals, you'd probably picture white sand beaches, pool waiters, steel drum bands, and youthful abandon. A Rip and Maymester trip to Jamaica definitely allows for a little R&R, but mostly as a reward for doing good work. Specifically, service work with the Blue Mountain Project, a grassroots nonprofit NGO dedicated to helping rural Jamaican communities. Frequent trip leader, psychology professor Joe Hatcher explains. The organization called the Blue Mountain Project uh, is the sort of overseeing organization for everything that happens on the ground there. So uh, we are, we're coming in as sort of paying guests of that group. Uh, so that's where the Blue Mountain name really comes from. Uh, and like I said, the, the Blue Mountains are there in the area, so there's some kind of meaning to the name. So we're coming in as service learning students. There are other groups that come in there that do the same kind of things that we do. Uh, we're the only college that's been anywhere nearly as often as we've been. Um, and uh, as you may know, we actually have two students here at this college that came from that area that were given full scholarships by the college. So there's been some back and forth. It's not just us going there and learning things and coming back and bringing that back with us. We've actually brought students from there to here as well. We talk about peace studies and we talk about international things a little bit, but mainly we talk about how to get along with people and how to think about people in a way that helps you get along with them. Instead of blaming them for having an off day, you say, oh, they must be having an off day. <laughs> you know, So just very, very simple things like that. It's always an experience to travel internationally with people. <laughs> um, I think it's true that you learn things about the people you're traveling with that you would never imagine learning in a classroom. You're just put in situations that take a, a different kind of thinking and a different kind of uh, reaction, you know? The primary thing that I learned is that through the, the Peace Studies course and through my um, study of development economics, I've researched and, and learned about a whole bunch of cultural barriers to creating economic development. Um, and I had never really gotten a chance to experience those in this context. And so, uh, working through the Blue Mountain Project, I was really able to, to experience some of the cultural phenomenon that I've heard of. This last time that we went down, we do something a little bit different every time. We did some work on the clinic in Penline, uh, trying to put up sort of an outside shelter so if it, if it rained people wouldn't get wet just waiting outside. We did some work in Hagley Gap uh, that ranged from um, helping out around the community center, trying to sort of beautify that area, doing some work in the clinic to catalog supplies. We also took down some uh, some supplies with us as donations. And we also helped uh, with some of the local children with their educational parts. We read books with them and read books with some of the adults actually whose reading level is often quite low. I think students can come back with a, with a lot of different types of experience and a lot of, of different types of things uh, that they've learned. Those are the ones I hear the most about when students get back. And um, I've got a couple of students who are in graduate school now who will say that they got started on social work or those kinds of issues by taking this kind of trip. Uh, the idea that other people don't always have what we have and that some people in this country don't even have what we have. And the idea that you can do something about it, I think, at least at a local level, those are very important ideas to get.